Hey, what's up YouTube? We are back at the Barn Dominium and we've been gone for a, a long time. Feels like way too long and that's because we walked away while some of the subcontractors were doing their things. The flooring got done, the painting got done, a lot of the plumbing got done, the well got put in, the septic got put in, the air conditioning got put in, but we're back. And that is because cabinetry has shown up, trim and doors are coming today. And we're gonna go ahead and start doing some projects here. So let me show you what we're doing. We're in the garage. Greg has already started here while I was getting my stuff ready. We're gonna be trimming out the two rooms here in the garage. We're gonna be getting our steel ceiling up and we're gonna get going on this interior. All right, now we're not doing anything crazy in here. We're just putting up a simple white metal ceiling, very clean. I think it's a good look for a garage room like this. And cost wise, you can't really beat it. So I'm just gonna go around the perimeter. I'm gonna install the J channel and that's what the ceiling metal will go into. So let's get into it. So here's a little trick. If you've got to cut a piece, instead of pulling out a tape measure, just flip it around and mark right where you have your other piece. And when you cut that, that is gonna be, when you flip it back around, it'll be right where you want it to be. Now I'm not going to cut this, I'm actually going, well, I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna continue this around as a one piece trim. Okay, now that we have all the trim around, what we're gonna to need to do is lay out the steel. First piece off the wall is gonna be 38 and an eighth. And then that will get us right where we need to be. So I'm just gonna make a simple mark here. And that will be where the edge of my steel goes for this first sheet. So I'll figure out the screw pattern where these trusses are, get those marked, and then we'll start hanging some steel. I right, know this may be difficult, but at almost 18 foot we should be able to get one side of the steel into this J do a little bit of a pull down creating a little bit of a bend in the panel just flexing it and then should be able to get it up into this J channel and then when you relax it it'll fit in there nice I did get these just a little bit shorter than you know the exact dimension so hopefully it works but we're gonna find out right now so are you gonna run the middle Greg oh uh, uh, man don't touch it. I didn't, I, <laughs> I'm not touching well, it. Why I didn't say it like that. I don't know. <laughs> it was pretty sus, I ain't gonna lie. I'm touching it now. All right, keep it low, you stay high. Keep it low. Okay, now hold it. Yeah. Got it? Cause I gotta get this ladder set up. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Wait, can you go higher? Get, 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 okay. get spread both ways. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was gonna say, let me do. Hold on. Now, I got this, you're pulling down. Yep, let's uh, slide it closer. Almost. Okay, start going. Yep, all right. Good. Wait, 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 okay, yep. Go ahead. Wait, you gotta get a screw. You got it, I'll go down there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Once you get the first one in, you kind of know what it's all about. What do you need? There you go. Middle. Middle. That, okay, go in. All right, hold it. Hold it. Yep, got it, dude. Move your ladder where you need it. Okay. Ooh, that would suck. All of a sudden, just like, whoa, whoa. Move my ladder. Yeah. A higher level if you can. Uh. Can you go higher? Okay. Okay, you got it. Um, Anytime, dog. A little more. Like it? No more. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm catching. Okay, go. 
more out. Uh, there. Hey. Whew. Acting like they don't know me, dog. Okay, hold on, don't go too high. Cause I can't. Go to your, go back a little bit. Go up. Okay, hold up, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Almost, almost. Uh, why is this middle rib not going up? A little more? Okay. Easy clap. First ceiling done. This is actually probably the easier of the two rooms because it's bigger. And as we go into this smaller room, we're gonna have to probably cut our steel just a little bit shorter. That way we can get it in one J channel and then bring it back. This side we could actually flex and make work. All right, we got our goal of getting these ceilings done today in the two garage rooms in here where we got a light. This is the workout room. It's about a 13 by, eh, 13 by almost 16 feet. And uh, the electrician stopped by. He's gonna be in here tomorrow, hopefully to get some of the wiring in the garage done so we can run this ceiling, which will be nice because we've got things starting to show up. We've got pile of trim. This is all of our base and casing trim, our jam extension trim. It's all unfinished, which means the stainer is going to be by hopefully tomorrow, he said. And he wants to start putting a coat of uh, stain and finish on the base trim. I'm going to build all the windows and doors into boxes, you know, prefab it all. Then he can finish that as one unit. I think that's the best way to do it. And then uh, we've got cabinetry coming for kitchen or baths and a couple kitchen pieces. We've got most of the kitchen here. This is uh, the the man cave area, that ceiling's all done. And uh, let's see, there's gonna be a lot happening here very shortly, obviously, as we get closer to wrapping up. Oh my goodness, when I walk into, into the main house where the air conditioner is, this thing is phenomenal. I hardly ever hear it kick on, but it is really well conditioned. I got the lift in here for the uh, firebox guy. He set that stone the other day with the client. And then we framed up here, we framed a box for the pipe to go through the ceiling for uh, the exhaust of that firebox. And let's see, we got all the kitchen cabinets into the kitchen so we can start doing this hopefully pretty soon, but I've got a little bit of plumbing that needs to be done. So I need to get the plumber back out here to get that done so we can put our first major cabinet. There's a monster cabinet. In fact, I think it's one of these guys right here goes in that corner and everything is gonna get built off of that. So I need that done first, but things are really starting to move pretty quickly. There's a lot of material and finishes showing up, which mainly means just a lot of work. So uh, definitely stay tuned. And in fact, we'll probably just go ahead and keep this rolling right now into tomorrow. Hopefully where we're putting up more ceiling in the garage and maybe working on some kitchen cabinets soon. All right, so the electrician just left and he ran some wiring up in the ceiling. We just got all the trim done and we now need to detach the hangers on that garage door so we can get the steel up in there. And then we'll kind of work out of this way. One thing that I always think about is what is the main focal point of the room? And we try to work out of the far away corner. And that is so that all of our overlaps are hidden from the people that are mainly coming in. So this is the house. So you've got the, the house door, people are gonna be coming in and out of the house door. And when you turn around and you look at your garage, all of the laps will be hidden because, you know, they're going the opposite way. If you're coming from that way, that's where you will see the laps. So we will do our best to hide those as much as possible. But just know that's one thing to always consider when doing a ceiling with laps, hide them by overlapping them in the direction that the do dominating view will be from.
Oh, there's no staples in here. All right, we got the ceilings done here in the garage, both in the main garage area, the two rooms back here. And now the next thing we'll do in the garage is we'll finish off these walls. We're actually gonna be using leftover smart side. This definitely cleans up this room, makes it brighter, even though there's no lights in here, permanent lights anyway, it's still a lot nicer to walk in here with a nice clean ceiling. Just makes it feel a lot closer to being finished. It does look nice. It brightens it up anyway. So this garage is 32 by 32. That back room there where Greg's at, that's basically 18 by 15. And this room over here is 12 by 15.